A major lawsuit has been filed by the federal government in more than a dozen states. That could bring changes to your iPhone. Connecticut is among those 16 states that have signed on. This action could impact everybody with a smartphone. News 8 political contributor Mike Cerulli joins us live from the Capitol with that. Mike. Hi, and good evening, everyone from the state capitol. At the heart of this lawsuit are key features of every iPhone that State Attorney General William Tong and many of his colleagues say unfairly lock out competition and provide an unfair advantage to one of the most powerful companies in the world. If you have an iPhone, you've probably noticed the difference between blue messages and green messages. Once they see the green or they don't see the green, they say, oh, you have an Android or you have an iPhone. I've seen a lot of people just like buy the buy iPhone for the blue bubbles. I don't know why, but people think that Android users are broke. According to the U.S. Department of Justice and Attorney General Tong, those green and blue bubbles aren't just superficial. They allege it's all part of a scheme to maintain an illegal monopoly. Getting messages to and from somebody with a green <laughs> circle phone is, is not as seamless. It's not as reliable. Um, the pictures and videos are grainy. That's intentional. Tong and his colleagues allege that iPhone features including messaging, tap to pay, smartwatch compatibility, and cloud streaming are all manipulated by Apple to lock users into the iOS ecosystem. He's found support for the suit across the aisle. We are all for capitalism, but everybody has to play by the same rules and the playing field has to be level. Apple said in a statement that the suit would hinder their ability to build their popular products and services, and they cautioned against heavy-handed government intervention. Tong said he sees this lawsuit as part of a much broader effort in the fight against corporations stifling competition and raising prices at the expense of consumers. Right, that's a lot of money to squeeze out of my family. And our job is to push back on that squeeze and to give Connecticut families some breathing room. Lawsuit is currently pending before a federal court in New Jersey. We will, of course, continue to follow all the developments in this case as they unfold. Reporting live at the state capitol, Mike Cerulli, News 8.